24. Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Cooler air passing over the warmer lake water sounds like a lake effect. And it is, <laughs> for the most part, summer style here. Here's a look uh, at Edinburgh right now. And you can see plenty of clouds here, a lot of uh, what we call instability clouds. And oftentimes, while you get to the bayfront, things improve, right? And uh, downtown Erie? Well, let's go to downtown. A little better, seeing a little more blue, but not a lot. Uh, in this particular case, even the lakeshore, we're getting our share of some clouds. This is the U.S. netting weather cam. And uh, you can see we do have uh, some clouds here as well. But uh, no precipitation expected. And uh, I'm hopeful that some of these uh, clouds will mix out a bit. Uh, it's taken a little longer than anticipated. But we'll still have a nice, comfortable afternoon. Dew points around 60, but temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, not bad. Now, the warmth will be coming in, starting to go up tomorrow, though it will be a comfortable heat. But by midweek, uh, the heat really kicks into gear and the humidity will kick in as well. We're almost in a carbon copy of last week where Monday and Tuesday weren't too bad, but by Wednesday, the heat kicked in and uh, we were flirting with 90 a lot of times toward the end of the week uh, before the rains came in on Saturday. But for now, uh, we have low 70s for the most part. Dr. Tom, 71 Niagara Pier, Fairview 72, 70 at the borough, 75 at Cory, Union City and French Creek at 71. Joe at 73 in Northeast. Sacred Town, West Mead, Meadville, all in the mid 70s, as is Saybrook. Pittsfield, 72, and Youngsville has 72 as well. In the meantime, dew points not bad, upper 50s, except near 60 along the lake shore with that wind coming off the lake a little bit to a little higher, but that's about where we will hold for the afternoon. And with the increase in heat by Wednesday and Thursday, those dew points will go up as well. And that means you're back to the warm and sticky. So here we have uh, the clouds building uh, quite uh, nicely here, especially away from the lakeshore, solid overcast in Cory. Uh, and uh, these are lake effect clouds. And I can't rule out maybe a few showers being squeezed out of some of those clouds, especially in the early part of the afternoon. I think later in the day, they'll start to thin out a bit. And then we have a pattern very similar to last week. High pressure builds in for tomorrow, and that high will give us lots of sunshine. Uh, but we'll look where it ends up by Wednesday, and we'll find the high off the East Coast. And it's going to hang there a bit, uh, ridging along the East Coast, keeping the fronts at bay for the most part. This tries to come through on Thursday. We'll see uh, what happens. Now, the last time that happened, we had some pretty good storms for us, some spots on uh, Thursday, so we may get a repeat performance there. We'll see how it goes. For today, though, partly sunny here along the lake shore. Highs in the middle to upper 70s. Mix of sun and clouds on the inland side. Maybe some isolated showers. Your highs also mid to upper 70s. Similar forecast in the Chautauqua Allegheny area. And from your weather authority, we'll have sunshine tomorrow. Highs in the low 80s. The heat comes in on Wednesday. We'll keep it dry for now, but scattered storms are possible with the lake breeze or that weak front. Temperatures upper 80s to lower 90s right on through Sunday and maybe the early part of next.